Scientists have discovered humans earliest known ancestor, and it's definitely not what you would expect. We're going to tell you all about it right now on IO. Hello potatoes, my name is Charlotte. My name's Jared. So this is our earliest known ancestor. Do you see what I see Jared? No I don't. It kind of looks like a potato. Oh my god! Coincidence? I think not. <laughs> Alright, this thing is called a Saccharitis coronarius. This picture is an artist's reconstruction based on the original fossil finds. It looks massive, especially from its mouth, but this little guy was only about a millimeter in size. Mm. It's a sea creature, and according to findings published in Nature Journal, it is the earliest known step on the evolutionary path that ended up leading to humans. Saccharitis is part of a category of animals called deuterostomes. These are ancestors of many different species, including vertebrae. Vertebrae means animals with backbones. This little guy is so small, it's believed that it lived between grains of sand on the seabed. It was a pretty flexible potato, but it didn't have any limbs. It most likely moved around by wiggling, kind of like this. I feel like that's more like dolphin. Like, I feel like it was just kind of like. Okay. <laughs> that's how I do that at work. Another interesting fact it doesn't have an anus. Researchers couldn't find any evidence that it had one, which probably means that it ate and pooped out of the same hole. It's very large mouth. Kind of gross. And that's its most striking feature. It takes up a large portion of its body. It's most likely ate by engulfing food particles and maybe other sea creatures. The fossils were found in central China and the study was carried out by an international team of researchers. So the reason why this is such a big deal is because until now only fossils of creatures that were further down the evolutionary line were found. They were between 510 to 520 million years old. This creature is 540 million years old. According to Deegan Chu of Northwest University in Jian, Saccharitis now gives us remarkable insight into the very first stages of the evolution of a group that led to fish and ultimately us. Well that's pretty cool. I see the resemblance. Can you open your mouth a little bit Jared? <laughs> yeah very very similar. Can we zoom in on that? Yeah. Saccharitis right here. Living and breathing. Can you poop out of your mouth too? I could try. Alrighty it is comment time. Eric has said on a scale of 1 to 38.57 how salty are you at this exact point in time? Um. Not very salty. I'm like a little. I don't taste very salty. I'm hydrated. I'm a little salty. Lazy Cat said I rub myself with peanut butter. Mmm, nice. It's kind of weird. Does your dog lick it off? Gabrielle's Gaming 19 said Roses are red, violets are blue, I like potatoes, and so do you. That's beautiful. I'm more of a fan of Harambe, to be honest. I know, we're all over him. Well, I'm not. Alrighty, guys, that is all for now. Make sure you check out our own personal YouTube channels. Yours is. I wish I could tell you. <laughs> It's his name, it's Jared Bronstein. Yeah, it's really simple guys, but you guys just spell it wrong, I'm sure. And mine is my name, Charlotte Dobre. And uh, okay. We're gonna just end the video and say bye. Later taters. <laughs>